fractions of quantities. Let's say I have $60 in my wallet and I have two friends with me and we're going to take this money and divide it up equally among the three of us. So the question is, what is one third of $60? And let's look at this in two different ways. We're going to calculate what is one third of $60. Okay, well, if we look at the fraction on its own, one third, right, that means we take a whole pizza, for instance, and we're looking to divide that into three. So if the money in the wallet is our pizza, then we're going to divide the money in the wallet by three, by the same amount. So we could figure out this value by taking $60 and dividing that by three. 60 divided by three is 20. So each of the three people would have $20 to spend on. Something exciting. Now another way to look at it is to make a mathematical equation. So one-third of 60 is the same as saying one-third times 60. And when I multiply fractions, it's fairly straightforward. So let's write 60 as a fraction. And we can write any number as a fraction by putting it over 1. So 60 over 1 is 60 divided by 1. It's just 60. 5 over 1 is 5. 1,000 over 1 is 1,000. So I've written as a fraction so that all I have to do here is multiply the numerator. 1 times 60 gives us 60. And then multiply the denominators. 3 times 1 gives us 3. And 60 divided by 3 is 20. So they both give us the same answer. Let's try the same thing. Let's say we want to figure out what is 1 -fifth of 40. So what is 1 -fifth of 40? Well, we can say we take 40 and divide it into five equal parts. 40 divided by five is eight. That's one way. Or we can make a mathematical equation. One over five times 40 over one. If we look at 40 and five, they're on a diagonal to each other in a multiplication of fractions. And we can divide them each by five. So five divided by five is one. And 40 divided by five is eight. So this leaves us with one times eight in the numerator and 1 times 1 in the denominator and 8 over 1 is simply 8. So 1 fifth of 40 is 8. Let's look at some other values. Let's say we want to find out uh, 3 quarters, let's find 3 quarters of 700. Okay, and let's use our mathematical equation. So this means 3 over 4 times 700 over 1. All right, so let's look at 704, and can we divide these by the same value? They're both even, so we could divide them both by 2, and in fact, we can actually divide them both by 4. 700 divided by 4 gives us 175, and 4 divided by 4, of course, is one. So now we have 3 times 175. So that's 525 over 1, which is just 525. Another way to look at this is this is 3 quarters. So we can find out how much 1 quarter is and then multiply that by 3. This is doing the same thing. So they'll both give the same answer. So to find one quarter of 700, we take 700 divided by four. 700 divided by two is 350, and 350 divided by two is 175. Okay, so each quarter is worth 175. And then we take 175 and multiply it by three, because there's three of these quarters. And that gives us the same result, 525. Let's try to find 5 sevenths of 21. So we'll set it up. This means 5 over 7 times 21 over 1. We look at the diagonals. Can't do anything here, but we can do something here. Because 7 and 21 can both be divided by 7. So 7 divided by 7 is 1. And 21 divided by 7 is 3. So we have 5 times 3 in the numerator. That's 15. And 1 times 1 in the denominator, that's 1. 15 over 1 is 15. 
So five sevenths of 21 is 15.